American traders are anticipating the long weekend as the US trading floors will be closed on Thursday for Thanksgiving Day. Nevertheless, the economic calendar contains enough important data to keep traders on the alert. The holiday themed market is set to trade under low volatility, but market moves will be more predictable. Tomorrow, traders should take notice of Germany's flash consumer price index for November. Last month's consumer prices aged up 0.1%, defined the forecast for a 0.6% decline. Now the consensus suggests a deeper 0.7% fall. Let's see whether Germany's economy will be able to cheer up the market this time. If the pessimistic forecast comes true, traders will sell the euro. On Friday, the report of major importance is a C CPI for the Eurozone. Experts are more optimistic about headline inflation for November. After it dropped to a three-year low in October, analysts predict a CPI climb to 0.8%. If the index meets expectations, the euro dollar pay is expected to rebound marginally. Notably, such inflation rates should convince the ECB of taking drastic measures that is bearish for the euro in the medium term. As I said earlier, amid the thin market in the New York trade tomorrow, the US dollar could lose ground against its Canadian rival. The loonie could find some support from Canada's macroeconomic data, in particular GDP for the third quarter. Canada's economy is expected to ease the face of growth to 1.7% on a yearly basis, following a sharp increase to 3.7% in the second quarter. The resident the of Canada's economy allows the Bank of Canada to put the ongoing monetary policy on hold and refrain from a rate cut, unlike leading central banks. In case the GDP data matches the forecast, the Canadian dollar will assert strength against the greenback. Apart from the above set reports, it would be a good idea to turn attention to the following data. On Thursday, traders will get to know retail sales data for Japan, gross domestic product for Switzerland, and consumer confidence index for the euro area. On Friday, Germany is due to report on its retail sales and the labor market. Besides, the UK will provide data on its consumer activity, net lending to individuals, and consumer confidence. You were watching Forex Trading. You were watching Forex Trading calendar on Insta Forex TV channel with me, Kate Stichina. We wish you profitable deals.